There's no better way in California to beat the heat than by brewing up a nice, refreshing American wheat ale with cherries, and that's what we're brewing today in this video. My name is Jordan from Billy's Tavern Home Brewing, and let's start brewing. For this grain bill, I kept it very simple. I'm using 50% pale two-row and 50% white wheat, five pounds of each for a batch volume of six gallons with the original gravity targeted at 1046. We're gonna be using some RO water or reverse osmosis and our target water profile is going to be the balanced profile in the Brewfather app. We're gonna be using four and a half gallons of mash water and 3.6 gallons of sparge water totaling um, just a little over eight gallons. The water profile will all be in the description below as well. We will be using 1.99 grams of calcium chloride, 1.22 grams of Epsom salt, and 1.27 grams of gypsum in the mash, as well as three milliliters of lactic acid to adjust for the pH. And then in the sparge, we'll be using 1.61 grams of calcium chloride, 0.99 grams of Epsom salt, and 1.03 grams of gypsum and then we're gonna let it match for 60 minutes at 152 degrees Fahrenheit. With my system, I'm not able to constantly recirculate the mash, so I usually start my recirculation five minutes left in the mash. And then when there's about 20 minutes left in the mash, that's when we're gonna start heating up the sparge water. I'm gonna be heating up the sparge water to about 170 to 180 degrees, and we'll be using a little over three and a half gallons of water for the sparge. And then when there's about five minutes left in the mash, that's when I start vorloffing and recirculating the mash until I am ready to start sparging and transferring to the boil kettle. So now that we've got this to a nice boil, we're gonna be adding in our hop additions. Uh, for the first hop addition, we're gonna be using one ounce of Willamette uh, for 60 minutes in the boil. And then later at 10 minutes left in the boil, we'll be adding one ounce of Cascade. And then these are optional. Uh, at 10 minutes, we'll be adding one World Flock tablet as well as a half teaspoon of some yeast nutrients. Boil is complete. It's time to chill this beer and get it in the fermenter. We're going to be using my SS Brutex 7 gallon bucket. Uh, we're going to be pitching it with some Lollamans Wit Belgian yeast. One packet It's all I needed for my original gravity. We're going to be fermenting this for 14 days at 68 degrees. And then after the 14 days, we will then rack to a secondary and add the cherries. Two weeks is up, it's been 14 days, it's time to add the cherries, and let me tell you, these cherries were a pain in my ass. Hand picked all of them, hand cut all of them, pitted all of them, then we froze them, and now we're racking them into the secondary, we're gonna let the beer flow right on top. So I finally get to taste it, it does taste a little bit like some wine, I'm not gonna lie, um, the wine flavor did kinda like mellow out as it sat longer in the keg. Um, nice tartness to it. It is nice and refreshing. I do like it. Um, so I guess we'll just kind of see how it sits in the keg a little more if the flavor rounds out. But uh, all in all, pretty happy with it. I think this will probably be the last time I brew with cherries. Um, not, not my favorite, but I do like it. It's good. So we'll just keep rolling with that. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. Saw good or human. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.